What's up, YouTube? It's been a while since I've done my last update. I figured I'd uh, do a little video here for you, show you a couple of recent mods that I have done, or at least mods that I've done since my last video that you can see. And also, it's time for me to do my uh, fuse number two pull to set the adaptives in the TCM. Um, so I figured I'd show you that as well, too, if you don't know how to do that or don't know what that is. Um, I'll show you about that here in a minute. Um, anyway, a couple of quick mods that I just want to mention here to you, and forgive me, I don't know how much of this you can see, but the car is a little dirty. Um, can't really see it all that much, probably with the green, and it's a sunny day, so um, it still glows no matter what, these uh, green with envies. But a um, couple of quick things here. Number one, uh, just last weekend I got a some new tires for the rears here. These are 275 40, uh, 40ZR20s. These are the um, Nitto Mativo wheels, which um, I've never had these tires before. Uh, they were recommended as just sort of an, a good general all season tire to have on these. Um, got them last week and um, no complaints so far. Um, don't have them on the front, so I can't really give you a full um, review of them, but. As far as the rears go, the grip and all that, they definitely are better than what I had on there uh, before. Also, um, I've got the Mopar quad tips, exhaust tips on the back now, um, which I really like a lot. You know, when I first saw them, you see them in a box or whatever, you think, well, what's this really going to add to the car? And then you put them on, and they, uh, I like them a lot. They're, they're, they're very cool. Inside here, I have a couple other things too. I added the uh, Air Raid cold air intake here, which is a nice big piece. Get a little cooler air into the motor. And also, um, I used a little hobby paint that I got from, um, like I forget where I got it, one from these, uh, one, one of these hobby stores. And I got the paint originally because my son has got a little collection of Challenger model cars in all different colors. And you know, we did a green with Envy. And the paint was a pretty close match um, to the real thing. So I got a brush and I hand brushed these on. And they came out pretty good, I have to say. Um, you see here the fuse box is in the way. And the reason for that is because right now I am uh, resetting the uh, adaptive fuel uh, um, configuration of the, uh, the car within the TCM, the car's computer here. Um, if you don't know what that is, basically what it means is that your, uh, your car's got a computer in it that uh, analyzes how you drive and it adjusts the performance or the output of the motor to make it more efficient and to make the most use of fuel. Now uh, performance and fuel economy generally don't go hand in hand, so when you have a car like this and you want to have a little fun with it, what it means is that uh, after a while, you know, assuming you're not racing all over town, um, your, uh, your car's computer is going to adjust to your driving style and try to make the most out of the fuel that it's got. Um, which means that uh, the car eventually gets a little sluggish. And a real easy way to reset that is to go into your fuse box here, find uh, fuse number two, which is right here. As you can see, I just pulled it. Um, you can find it right here on this little uh, map here on the inside of the uh, fuse box. Uh, and just get a pair of ne needle nose pliers and just pull it out and leave it out for, uh, I leave it out for 10 minutes. Um, I've heard some people say you only need to leave it out for 20 seconds, but uh, I've also said, heard some people say it's got to be longer than that, so I leave it out for, for 10 minutes. And uh, what that does is it re basically resets that adaptive system to zero, so you're kind of starting, from o starting over. Um, and you will notice it. Um, the car definitely, definitely has a lot more oomph. Uh, it feels like you really woke it up. Which is, uh, which is really cool. Um, one thing I would do if I were you, um, if you're gonna leave it open for 10 minutes, you know, um, make sure you don't, of course, lose your fuse. You wanna, I usually put it right there. Um, I leave this open just as a reminder so I don't close the hood on it. Also, um, the pliers, um, most of the time I actually leave them like this while I have it open. Um, this way I cannot close that hood. I will see those pliers there and be reminded that, oh yeah, I gotta put that fuse back in. Now that may seem like a, a no-brainer to you and think, well, what kind of dummy is gonna, is gonna do that? Well, we all get busy in this world. You know, the phone rings, you got kids running around, what have you, and um, there have been people who have closed the hood and tried to start their car and drive off with uh, the fuse out. And uh, I don't know exactly what happens, but it's a problem you don't wanna have. 
Um, so just set yourself a little reminder here. That's what I usually do. And then you put it back in and you will feel the, uh, the difference. Um, I notice it especially, um, I've been doing this little trick here for a while. Um, after you have modifications, I think you notice it even a little bit more, especially um, if you've got things, you know, cold air intake, who knows what these things really add in terms of power. You know, they advertise, this one advertises anywhere from 15 to 20 horse, horsepower for the, the Challenger. Who knows what you actually get out of it? Um, certainly a little bit maybe, um, even combined with the tuner. I've got a Diablo Sport, uh, I think it's the T1000 model, um, and I use the Diablo Sport um, canned tune for this. Um, and when you do that, and you do the TCM uh, adaptive reset here, and uh, you take the traction control off, let me tell you, it is a totally different car than what you drove off of the, the, uh, the showroom floor. It really, really wakens it up. And it's a lot of fun to drive, a lot of fun to drive. So. Um, Again, the uh, fuse number two pull is, is something you want to do every now and then, um, depending how much you drive your car. Um, I think they say that it, um, the adaptives, um, they study, it, it analyzes your, your driving for 50 start cycles, or basically 25 half trips, or, or, or uh, 25 round trips. So, you know, if you go to the uh, gas station, you drive from here to the gas station, you shut your car off, that's one cycle, you know, and then you get back in your car, you start it up, you drive home, that's another cycle. So 50 of those, um, and your car's adaptive system is, is, uh, has, has already kind of run its course, and you'll probably want to reset it again. So usually like once a month is, is uh, when I try to do this. And again, it makes a bit of a difference. So right now I'm gonna put this back in. It's about 10 minutes ago that I, uh, that I pulled this, so I'm just gonna put that right back in. Close it. Obviously, I got my pliers here. And uh, there we go. So that's it, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. Until next time, be safe.